Introduction Let's play a game of tossing coin. Okay. If head comes, I will win and if tail comes, you will win. I am sure you will not win. Let's see. Ha 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 ha. It's a tail. I win. I told you. But how do you know that? I did not know that. I just guessed it. That was the probability. Probability? Yes. Would you like to learn more about it? Yes, of course. Come, I will teach you about probability. It's a very interesting topic. I am sure you will like it. Objectives. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to find conditional probability. Learn multiplication rule of probability. Differentiate between independent and dependent events. Find conditional probability using Bayes theorem. Define random variable. Find probability distribution of random variable. Find mean of random variable. Find variance of random variable. Find probability using binomial distribution. Conditional probability Random experiment is the experiment whose outcome cannot be predicted with certainty before the experiment is run. Let A and B be any two events associated with a random experiment. The probability of occurrence of event A when the event B has already occurred is called the conditional probability of A when B is given and is denoted as this P A B. The conditional probability of event A when event B is given is meaningful only when probability of event B is not equal to zero. That is, when B is not an impossible event. Therefore, conditional probability of event A when event B is given is equal to number of cases favorable to event A intersection event B by number of cases favorable to event B. Therefore, conditional probability of event A when event B is given is equal to probability of event A intersection event B divided by probability of event B provided probability of event B not equals to zero. Similarly, we have conditional probability of event B when event A is given is equal to probability of event A intersection event B divided by probability of event A provided probability of event A not equals to zero. For example, let event A be drawing a jack first and event B be drawing a jack second. For the first car to draw a jack first, probability of event A is equal to 4 by 52. But after removing a jack from the deck, the probability of the second car drawn is less likely to be a jack. So, conditional probability of event B when event A is given is equal to 3 by 51. Properties of conditional probability 1. If A and B are two events of a sample space S of a random experiment, then conditional probability of sample space S when event B is given is equal to conditional probability of event B when event B is given is equal to 1. 2. If A and B are any two events of a sample space S, and F is an event of S such that probability of event F not equals to zero. Then, conditional probability of event A union event B when F is given is equal to conditional probability of event A when F is given 
plus conditional probability of event B when F is given minus conditional probability of event A intersection event B when F is given. 3. If A and B are two events of a sample space S of a random experiment, then conditional probability of complement of event A when B is given is equal to 1 minus conditional probability of event A when B is given. Example A fair dice is rolled. Consider the event. E is equal to 1, 3, 5 and F is equal to 2, 3. Find the conditional probability of E when F is given and conditional probability of F when E is given. Solution Given E is equal to 1, 3, 5 and F is equal to 2, 3. E intersection F is equal to 3. Probability of event E is equal to 3 by 6. Probability of event F is equal to 2 by 6. Probability of E intersection F is equal to 1 by 6. Now, conditional probability of E when F is given is equal to probability of E intersection F by probability of event F is equal to 1 by 6 divided by 2 by 6 is equal to 1 by 6 into 6 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2. Conditional probability of F when E is given is equal to probability of E intersection F by probability of event E is equal to 1 by 6 divided by 3 by 6 is equal to 1 by 6 into 6 by 3 is equal to 1 by 3. Multiplication theorem on probability. Multiplication rule of probability. Let A and B be two events in a sample space S. Then, probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of event A into conditional probability of event B when A is given is equal to probability of event B into conditional probability of event A when B is given provided probability of event A not equals to zero and probability of event B not equals to zero. For more than two events probability of a intersection B intersection C is equal to probability of event A into conditional probability of event B when A is given into conditional probability of event C when A intersection B is given is equal to probability of event A into conditional probability of event B when A is given into conditional probability of event C when AB is given. Independent events Two events are said to be independent if the occurrence or non-occurrence of one does not affect the probability of occurrence of the other. For example, on rolling of a dice, let A be the event of getting 6 on the first roll. Let B be the event of getting 5 on the second roll. These two events are independent of one another. Important points. When two events A and B are independent, then conditional probability of event A when B is given is equal to probability of event A provided probability of event B is not equal to zero. Conditional probability of event B when A is given is equal to probability of event B 
provided probability of event A is not equal to zero. If A and B are two independent events associated with a random experiment, then probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of A and B is equal to probability of A into probability of B. For three events, probability of A intersection B intersection C is equal to probability of A into probability of B into probability of C. Dependent event. Two events, say A and B, are dependent if probability of A intersection B is not equal to probability of A into probability of B. Example A husband and wife appear for an interview for two posts. The probability of husband selection is 1 by 7 and that of wife's selection is 1 by 5. What is the probability that 1. Both of them are selected 2. Only one of them is selected 3. At least one of them is selected Solution Let event A be husband is selected. Therefore, Probability of event A is equal to 1 by 7. And event B, B wife is selected. Therefore, probability of event B is equal to 1 by 5. 1. P, both are selected. Is equal to probability of A intersection B. Is equal to probability of event A into probability of event B is equal to 1 by 7 into 1 by 5 is equal to 1 by 35. 2. Probability that only one is selected is equal to probability of A intersection complement of B or complement of A intersection B is equal to Probability of event A into probability of complement of event B plus probability of complement of event A into probability of event B is equal to 1 by 7 into 1 minus 1 by 5 plus 1 minus 1 by 7 into 1 by 5 is equal to 4 by 35 plus 6 by 35 is equal to 10 by 35 is equal to 2 by 7 3 probability that at least one is selected is equal to probability of A intersection complement of B plus probability of complement of A intersection B plus probability of A intersection B is equal to 1 minus probability that none is selected is equal to 1 minus probability of complement of event A into probability of complement of event B is equal to 1 minus 4 by 5 into 6 by 7 is equal to 1 minus 24 by 35 is equal to 11 by 35. Bayes theorem Partition of sample space The set of events E1, E2 up to En is said to represent a partition of sample space F if Ei intersection Ej is equal to null set I not equals to J I J is equal to 1, 2 up to N E union E2 Union up to EN is equal to S and probability of event EI greater than 0 for all I is equal to 1, 2, 3 up to N. Theorem of total probability. Let E1, E2 up to EN be a partition of the sample space S 
and suppose that each of the events E1, E2 up to En has non-zero probability of occurrence. Let A be any event associated with S. Then, probability of event A is equal to summation from J is equal to 1 to N of probability of event Ej into conditional probability of A when Ej is given. Bayes theorem. Bayes theorem. If E1, E2, E3 up to En are N mutually exclusive and exhaustive events associated with a random experiment, and if A is any arbitrary event which occurs when E1 or E2 or up to En and probability of event A not equals to zero, then the conditional probability of occurrence of EI for I is equal to 1, 2, up to N. Given that A has already occurred is given by conditional probability of EI when A is given is equal to probability of event EI into conditional probability of A when EI is given divided by summation from J is equal to 1 to N of probability of event EJ into conditional probability of A when EJ is given for any I is equal to 1, 2, 3 up to N. Important points. The probabilities of E1, E2 up to En are known as prior probabilities because they exist before we have any information about the experiment that will occur. The conditional probability of A when EI is given, I is equal to 1, 2 up to N are called likelihoods because they indicates how likely the event A under consideration is to occur, given each and every prior probability. The conditional probability of EI when A is given, I is equal to 1, 2 up to N are called posterior probabilities because they are determined after the results of the experiments are known. Example, the contents of boxes 1, 2 and 3 respectively are as follows. 1 white, 2 black and 3 red. 2 white, 1 black and 1 red. 4 white, 5 black and 3 red balls. One box is chosen at random and two balls are drawn at random. They happen to be white and red. What is the probability that they come from boxes 1, 2 and 3? Solution. Let E1, E2 and E3 denote the event that boxes 1, 2 and 3 are chosen respectively and let A be the event that two balls are taken out from the selected box are white and red. Then probabilities of selecting the boxes at random are probability of event E1 is equal to probability of event E2 is equal to probability of event E3 is equal to 1 by 3. The probability of selecting the balls when the box 1 is chosen is given by is equal to 1C1 into 3C1 by 6C2 is equal to 1 into 3 by 15 is equal to 1 by 5. Similarly, the probability of selecting the balls when the box 2 is chosen is given by is equal to 2C1 into 1C1 by 4C2 is equal to 2 into 1 by 6 is equal to 1 by 3. 
the probability of selecting the balls when the box 3 is chosen is given by 4C1 into 3C1 by 12C2 is equal to 4 into 33 by 66 is equal to 2 by 11. Therefore, by Bayes' theorem, the probability that the selected balls were from the box 1 is given by Conditional probability of E1 when A is given is equal to Probability of event E1 into Conditional probability of event A when E1 is given divided by Probability of event E1 into Conditional probability of event A when E1 is given plus probability of event E2 into conditional probability of event A when E2 is given plus probability of event E3 into conditional probability of event A when E3 is given is equal to 1 by 3 into 1 by 5 divided by 1 by 3 into 1 by 5 plus 1 by 3 into 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 into 2 by 11 is equal to 33 by 118. Similarly, conditional probability of E2 when A is given is equal to probability of event E2 into conditional probability of event A when E2 is given divided by probability of event E1 into conditional probability of event A when E1 is given plus probability of event E2 into conditional probability of event A when E2 is given plus probability of event E3 into conditional probability of event A when E3 is given is equal to 55 by 118. Conditional probability of E3 when A is given is equal to probability of event E3 into conditional probability of event A when E3 is given divided by probability of event E1 into conditional probability of event A when E1 is given plus probability of event E2 into conditional probability of event A when E2 is given plus probability of event E3 into conditional probability of event A when E3 is given is equal to 15 by 59. Hence, the probabilities that the white and red balls are taken out from boxes 1, 2 and 3 are 33 by 118, 55 by 118, and 15 by 59. Random Variables and its Probability Distributions A random variable over a sample space is a function that maps every sample point that is outcome to a real number. The random variable is usually denoted by x. For example, let x be the random variable denotes the number of heads obtaining the tossing of three coins. Then the value of x is, for sample space t, 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 the value of random variable is 0. For sample space t, t, h, the value of random variable is 1. For sample space t, h, t, the value of random variable is 1. For sample space h, t, t, the value of random variable is 1. For sample space h, h, t, the value of random variable is 2. For sample space h, t, h, the value of random variable is 2. For sample space t, h, h, the value of random variable is 2. 
For sample space H H H, the value of random variable is 3. Discrete random variable. A random variable is called a discrete random variable if it can only take countable number of values. Random variables and its probability distributions. Probability distribution of a random variable. Let x be a discrete random variable assuming values x1, x2, x3 up to xn corresponding to the various outcomes of a random experiment. If the probability of occurrence of x is equal to xi is pi 1 is less than or equal to i is less than or equal to n such that p1 plus p2 plus p3 plus up to pn is equal to 1 then the function is pi 1 is less than or equal to i is less than or equal to n is called the probability function of the random variable x and the set Probability of occurrence of x1, probability of occurrence of x2, probability of occurrence of x3, up to probability of occurrence of xn is called the probability distribution of x. Example A fair dice is tossed once. If the random variable x is the number of odd numbers, Find the probability distribution of x. Solution. Here sample space S is is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. x can take values 0 and 1 because at most we can get one odd number. Probability for x is equal to 0 equals to Probability for no odd number is equal to probability for 2 or 4 or 6 is equal to 3 by 6 is equal to 1 by 2. Probability for x is equal to 1 is equal to probability for one odd number is equal to probability for 1 or 3 or 5 is equal to 3 by 6 is equal to 1 by 2. Therefore, the probability distribution of x is for x is equal to 0, probability of x is 1 by 2. For x is equal to 1, probability of x is 1 by 2. Mean of a random variable. If x is any discrete random variable which can assume values x1, x2 up to xn with respective probabilities p1, p2 up to pn such that p1 plus p2 plus up to pn is equal to 1 then the mean or expected value of the random variable x denoted by mu or ex is defined as mu is equal to ex is equal to summation from i is equal to 1 to n of pi xi where summation from i is equal to 1 to n of pi is equal to 1. Example, find the mean for the following probability distribution. Solution, the mean can be found by the formula mu is equal to ex is equal to summation from i is equal to 1 to n of pi xi 
for x i is equal to 0 and p i is equal to 0 0.20 p i x i is equal to 0 for x i is equal to 1 and p i is equal to 0 0.60 p i x i is equal to 0 0.60 for x i is equal to 5 and p i is equal to 0 0.10 pi xi is equal to 0 0.50 for xi is equal to 6 and pi is equal to 0 0.10 pi xi is equal to 0 0.60 and the summation of pi xi is 1.7 so the mean is 1.7 Variance of a random variable As mean does not tell us about the variability in the values of random variable, so we need variance to get the information that how the values of random variable differ from each other. If x is any discrete random variable which can assume values x1, x2 up to xn with respective probabilities px1, px2 up to pxn such that p1 plus p2 up to plus pn is equal to 1. Then the variance of random variable x is sigma x square is equal to variance of x is equal to summation from i is equal to 1 to n of product of xi minus mu whole square and p x i which can be evaluated to variance of x is equal to summation from i is equal to 1 to n of x i square into p x i minus mean square. The positive square root of the variance is called the standard deviation and is denoted by sigma x. Thus, sigma x is equal to square root of variance. Example Find the variance and standard deviation for the following probability distribution. Solution The variance can be found by the formula. Variance of x is equal to summation from i is equal to 1 to n of x i square into p x i minus mean square. Variance can be found as follows. Is equal to 1.2 minus 0. Is equal to 1.2. Standard deviation is equal to square root of 1.2 is equal to 1.095. Bernoulli trials and binomial distribution Bernoulli trials An experiment or trial whose outcome can be classified as either a success or failure is performed. Assumptions of Bernoulli trials Each trial results in one of two possible outcomes denoted by success S or failure F. The probability of S remains constant from trial to trial and is denoted by P. Write Q is equal to 1 minus P for the constant probability of F. The trials are independent and should be finite in number. For example, in tossing a coin, if occurrence of head means success, then tail means failure. Binomial distribution. Let a random experiment be performed repeatedly and let the occurrence of an event in any trial be called a success S and its non-occurrence a failure F. Consider a series of n independent trials 
n being finite in which probability of success is p, probability of failure is q, such that p plus q is equal to 1, that is, q is equal to 1 minus p. Let there are r success and n minus r failures in n trials. Hence, the probability of r successes and n minus r failures in any order is given by the expression n c r p raised to the power r into q raised to the power n minus r. The probability distribution of the number of successes so obtained is called binomial probability distribution. Definition a random variable x is said to be binomial variable if it assumes non-negative values 0, 1, 2, up to n and the probability that x is equal to r is given by probability x is equal to r is equal to n c r p raised to the power r into q raised to the power n minus r for r is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, up to n, where n c r is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial into r factorial. Example a machine manufacturing screws is known to produce 5% defective screws. In a random sample of 15 screws, what is the probability that there are 1. Exactly 3 defective screws and 2. Not more than 2 defective screws. Solution The probability of screw being defective is equal to P is equal to 5 by 100 is equal to 0 0.05. Therefore, Q is equal to 1 minus P is equal to 1 minus 0 0.05 is equal to 0 0.95. 1. Since we are interested to have 3 defective screws out of 15, hence the required probability is 15 C3 into P raised to the power 3 into q raised to the power 12 is equal to 15 into 14 into 13 into 0 0.05 raised to the power 3 into 0 0.95 raised to the power 12 by 3 into 2 into 1 is equal to 0 0.03 2. Here we are interested in not more than two defective screws and thus we should expect 0, 1, two defective screws and the probability for this is is equal to probability for x is equal to 0 plus probability for x is equal to 1 plus probability for x is equal to 2 is equal to 15C0 into Q raised to the power 15 plus 15 C1 into P into Q raised to the power 14 plus 15 C2 into P square Q raised to the power 13 is equal to Q raised to the power 15 plus 15 into P into Q raised to the power 14 plus 105 into P square into q raised to the power 13 is equal to q raised to the power 13 q square plus 15 into p q plus 105 into p square is equal to 0 0.95 raised to the power 13 0 0.95 square plus 15 into 0 0.05 into 0 0.95 plus 105 into 0 0.05 square is equal to 0 
Did you know? Blaise Pascal did a huge contribution in the subject of probability. He was a French mathematician, physicist, inventor, writer and Catholic philosopher. Jacob Bernoulli gave the binomial distribution. He was one of the many prominent mathematicians in the Bernoulli family. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The probability of occurrence of event A when the event B has already occurred is called the conditional probability of A when B is given and is denoted as Probability of S when B is given equals to probability of B when B is given is equals to 1. Probability of A union B when F is given equals to probability of A when F is given plus probability of B when F is given minus probability of A intersection B when F is given. Probability of A dash when B is given is equal to 1 minus probability of A when B is given. Let A and B be two events in a sample space S. Then, when two events A and B are independent, then, two events, say A and B, are dependent if, Probability of A intersection B which is not equal to probability of A into probability of B. If E1, E2, E3 and so on till En are N mutually exclusive and exhaustive events associated with a random experiment and if A is any arbitrary event which occurs with E1 or E2 or up to En and Pa is not equal to zero. Then, the conditional probability of occurrence of Ei, I is equal to 1, 2, up to N, given that A has already occurred, is given by the mean or expected value of random variable X denoted by mu or Ex is defined as the variance of random variable x is the positive square root of the variance is called the standard deviation and is denoted by sigma x. Bernoulli trials are trials whose outcome can be classified as either a success or failure is performed. A random variable x is said to be binomial variable if it assumes non-negative values 0, 1, 2 and so on till n and the probability that x is equal to r that is probability of x is equal to r is given by.